Hello, it's Markham Matosh here for Markham 3D, and today we're going to be continuing our VR exercise game squatting wonderfulness that hurts. Um, we are going to be doing the deletion of the box and the random spawn. So let's now continue into the next section. I want to, as soon as I pick up that cube, I want it to be destroyed once it hits a bounding box above our head. So that's going to be kind of our squat mechanic is we're going to go down, pick it up, stand up, push up. So from here, let's create our cube. So I'm going to come up here into the top left and search for classes. And we're going to put in, oops, can't spell trigger, trigger box. Let's bring this in, put it up and let's go scale this out just so we can, you know, have our box might be a little bit too low for now, but we can work that out a little bit later. So let's now convert this blueprint into a um, actor blueprint class and we'll bring it up here and let's call this BP underscore destroyer of boxes. <laughs> and so now we've got this box. Let's go straight into the event graph from here. Let's delete everything, select the collision component and come down here on component begin overlap. What we need to do is we need to get what is overlapping the box. So I'm going to grab the other actor and uh, let's get the name of the object, get object name. And what we'll do is let's just test this out. Print string. And what does it say that it is? So let's go compile. We won't simulate, but rather Let's do VR preview and we'll test this out quickly. And so as you can see that the boxes were being collided. Now let's have a look at the output log and we can see what we were colliding. Pick up cube. Good. Because that's what we're spawning and the motion controller. So what we want to do is as soon as the box hits that trigger box, we want that box to be deleted or destroyed. So first up is we don't want the hand to be destroyed, but we know that uh, what this object name is called. So let's go get name, op get object name, and let's type in contains string. Okay, let's delete that substring. We will call this pickup. So let's get the name of Let's get the name of the object. Does it contain pickup? And we will pass that off into a branch. Okay. Yes, it is. What I want it to do first is call the drop function. So I'm going to go drop, send a message to say drop this object. So let's get the other actor. And then what I want to do is destroy actor and we'll grab that one. All right, now let's test this out. Hmm. Now, because I'm in such a small room, I'm just going to have to move this back a little bit. There we go. And also, um, let's go to our random spawner and rather than 90, I'm going to make this one 50. Just so they're a little bit closer together and minus 50. Minus 50. All right, compile and let's press play. And as you can see, and as you can see, I put in uh, 50 when this probably should have been minus 50. There we go. So now we've got our three boxes and you saw that as soon as I put the um, box into the collision box, my hand stayed as a grip. 